What's up guys, it's Matters, and in the last video, I went over how to get to round 50 on the new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies map, the giant solo, that, that was the solo strategy to get to round 50 on the giant, definitely check that out if you're looking for the solo strategy. Here we have the co-op strategy, preferably four players, but it could be two players, could be three players, um, I would say three to four really, because two players, sometimes you can have pretty cool strategies for certain maps, especially for the giant, but two, three, four, this all pertains to the co-op strategy here, there's a couple different styles. Stuff. Most of it is the same to the solo strategy, but there's a couple of different stuff because you have to take into account that every single person needs perks. They need their own weapons. They need their own um, abilities. They need just everything by themselves. Some might go down. Some might stay alive. Some might kill whore. Some might not have any points. Everyone's going to be at a different play pace when you're playing co-op, four players, three players, or two players. Now, obviously, four players would be the hardest because you need to spread it out more evenly. So basically, you're going to get to usually a late start when you're playing co-op so if you want to get to a high round especially round 50 and above you need to be on the same page you need to set up a plan and you need to really have a good like I guess attack to really go in there and figure out what you're doing how to kill the zombies where to go what to actually get and to regulate what you're buying you can't have one kid getting a ton of mystery boxes you can't have one kid getting nothing um, it needs to work okay so this is what you guys do. You guys go one area, do, you don't split up. You go one area, you pick the left side or the right side. You all go through, you share your points, your doors, whatever you want to do. Whoever has the most points gets the door that costs the most. Whoever has the least gets the door that costs the least. That's just the way it is. You go through to the power, you get the power. Once you're there, since you have four players and you're not solo, you don't need Juggernaut immediately. Get a wall weapon like the CUDA and then definitely just hang out in the power area for a bit until round five or six. All four of you guys should stay alive you shouldn't be dying if you are then you sort of have to reevaluate what you're doing and if you want to do four players for a round 50 attempt now once you get the wall weapon you're staying alive you need to get jug before round 10 you can get it a bit later um solo you usually need it earlier because of the fact that you're just by yourself you need jug and no one can revive you um so jug definitely for co-op you can get it a bit later you're gonna have to anyway because by the time everyone gets their own amount of points no one's gonna have jug at the same time that early anyway so by the time everyone gets points they'll have jug before or at round 10 so everyone needs to have jug by round 10 if they don't then you just can't do that and you have to make sure you're not getting down as well there's no reason like everyone should be getting down if you're if you're all getting down um then you're just not gonna get to round 50 you guys should know your skill you guys should know what you're doing this is a serious video it's a serious thing round 50 it's a crazy thing especially for four players it's possible but it's hard so you need to be ready okay so get jug by round 10 get everything ready um i would say mystery box after round 10 never before round 10 you can do fine with a weapon maybe if you're all on the same pace and you're all like doing really good and you're all experienced players Definitely, you can do everything a lot earlier. You can get Jug, you know, by round 6 or round 8. You can get, you know, your, I guess, mystery box weapons, your ray guns, everything like that by round 12. Uh, you can get going, start training, get your training spots. Um, and you can just get everything ready a lot sooner because of the fact that you guys are experienced. Now... For four players, it's pretty weird because there's not a lot of training spots. There really, there's only like three training spots on the giant, on Doris also, but you can make it into four. So basically, you have the square room on the side. Obviously, you know the narrow, you have the narrow building, and you have the square building. One training spot is in the square building. The second one is in the starting room. The third and fourth one, those are both in the power area. So how that works basically you have one guy near the power switch and one guy in the back room that's how you gotta do it it may be a bit tight but it should be fine especially if the two players at the power room work well with each other and sort of know how to train um, when the player's not there they go to that spot and then they sort of alternate a bit and then also if they're just experienced players they should be good there in tight spaces and if you're doing that you can keep your setup and then you should be set there's nothing really else you have to do pack a punch will just come as you guys increasingly get points don't pack a punch unless you really need to make sure you always have jug make sure you have everything set up um and then just keep on going until there and that's really it so like i said two people at the power area one in the back building one near the switch you got one in the starting room and then one in the square building and you know like i said in the other video wonder weapons do the ray gun do an lmg the wonder waffle is not good right now like i said 
guys. I'm still going to do a video on that later today. Um, we'll talk about that. We'll have to see um, how that's going to work. Hopefully, they patch it. But, but I guess by the time they patch it, you should I'm be good with it. Ammo. But the Wonder, but Wonder, the Wonder Waffle right awesome now, I don't over. think it's actually good. I think it's glitched or something. So, like I said, we'll talk about it. But, yeah, right now, that's the best way to do it. Um, if you guys can't get to round 50, you can still use this strategy for any other round below it. Obviously, if a round 50 strategy is going to work, um, it'll work for round 30, 40, 20, anything 10. If you never got up to round 10, but, you know, um, it, it's basically everything up to round 50. After round 50, it's, it gets hectic as hell. It's crazy. You gotta have some crazy strategy after round 50, but at least up to round 50 and a little bit above, you should be good. I'm not gonna say you should be good because it's really hard, but it should be possible. So, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and, um, yeah, tell me guys what you think. I'll probably be doing Shadows of Evil next, later today or tomorrow, so, you know, tell me guys what you think about that, and I'll see you guys later.